Hey guys, how you doing? It's Jay here, and welcome back to WWE 2K19's My Career Mode. And guys, I done goofed. Oh, I messed up so badly. I've challenged John Cena to a submission match at SummerSlam. That's gonna go well. Oh god. Anyway, I think we've some stuff to do before we get to that. I can only talk to AJ Styles. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my, stand up, I'll show it to you. Awesome, I owe you one. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. Yeah, we'll settle up at some point. He has the money in the bank briefcase. At some point, I'm gonna be the champion and he's gonna cash in on me and he'll betray me just like Randy Orton did last year. Damn you, AJ Styles. Damn you, Randy Orton. Weirdly enough, in between recordings, I was thinking to myself, ooh, maybe AJ will teach you the calf crusher. Maybe the calf crusher can be my new signature. Maybe I can get rid of that shooting star press which everyone seems to keep on countering. Anyway, Daniel Bryan, how are you, sir? What can you do for me today? I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Oh, sh shut up, you. I mean, I understand. That man sure knows how to hold a grudge. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. Yeah, any match seen as in where that's applied, the star rating for the match goes down by at least two. Ha! <laughs> yeah, which is easier said than done. Okay. Wait, Daniel Bryan side match? What's this? I had an idea on how I could help you get ready for your submission match with John Cena at SummerSlam, but it would involve you wrestling for a second time tonight. I can do that. What do you mean? I can arrange you to take on Chad Gable in a submission match, give you a chance to work on submission moves before you face Cena. True, but on the other hand, it would give Cena more film on me to study. That's a good point. It's your call. Um, I'll do it. I don't think... I will do it, but like with most side matches, we're just going to skip to the, uh, the finish now. Okay, I've gotten Chad Gable's head down to red health, and I'm okay on stamina. Just recover a little bit more. Hopefully he doesn't stir. Right, we're going to go for a submission. What? What is it? Oh god, that's my submission. Yeah, tap out, Chad Gable. Tap out to the claw. Oh my god, he's not going to tap into the claw, is he? He is! <laughs> what the hell? He put a claw on his shoulder and he tapped out. Oh, Chad Gable. What was that? Well, one thing we have learned from this is that I definitely, definitely, here's a nice super kick. Yes. And then here's the claw. <laughs> the big shoulder claw. Oh my god, his, his traps. Are those the muscles on your shoulder? I don't know. It was too much for young Chad Gable to hold on to, though. And he was forced to tap out. And yes, as you can see here, when I went to talk to AJ, the little talk we had backstage ruined it. I've changed my attire slightly. I don't know how I feel about the black trunks, though. I think... You, you know what? Let me know in the comments. Should I change the trunks to red to match the knee pads and the gloves? I think that'll work a, a little bit more uniform. I just, I've always had this tendency to go way too red. All red, everything. Like, Eva Marie, except I'm good at the wrestling. Anyway, let's head on over to SummerSlam. All right, guys, we actually just jumped straight into the match here. No backstage shenanigans. I also had a quick look at my move set here, and uh, things aren't looking good. AJ said he'd teach me the calf crusher. I have not unlocked the calf crusher in my move set. And I looked at uh, all my available submissions I can use. And yeah, the shoulder claw is kind of the standard we're working with going into a submission match with John Cena, of all people. Because unfortunately, I spent a huge chunk of my VC on things like those knee pads I'm now wearing. Oh, Jay. Okay, it wasn't just the knee pads. There was like gloves and elbow pads and shoes and kick pads. I just, I, I have a shopping problem, okay? I have a spending problem. Once I start shopping for clothes, I just can't stop. Okay, anyway, time to focus on this match. And there he is. Imposter Cena. We still haven't forgotten that atrocious impression, John. 
Hopefully his impression of John Cena not tapping out is as accurate as his impression of John Cena's voice. Yeah, that was a terrible joke. I'm not going to apologize though. I will never apologize. Oh yeah, you're done now, John. This was supposed to be my big reveal for my new attire as well, but <laughs> I should really make the trunks red. Anyway, on the plus side though, I think AJ's gonna weirdly enough teach me the calf crusher during the match somehow because he's accompanying me to the match. Oh, I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I'm good to go. And just AJ very nonchalantly in the background. Oh, I'm ready for a fight with John Cena. I got my new Titan Tron. See, the trunks look better with the jacket. I think that was my mistake right there. Trying to uh, uh, match, match up the attire for my entrance and not paying too much attention as to how it looks outside of it. Anyway, I'm being brave. I'm being brave getting rid of... Uh, Getting rid of the uh, the tights. Although, what am I talking about? It was in Trunks for all the 2K18. Just showing off more of me pasty pale Irish buddy. Look at that. Number one. That's me. And the, the entrance just abruptly ends there. Yeah, John. You look focused. Because I'm focused. Please don't let the objective be just defeat John Cena. Okay, get him to yellow health while in the ring. Excellent. I don't actually have to make him tap. The game's going to do it for me. Uh, just on the... Uh, oh, see now. What do you like? Oh! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no! Ah! Great opportunity to counter. Didn't take it. I'll take this one, though. Just keep wailing on his legs. Because if I am going to have to utilize the calf crusher, I'm going to need his legs at yellow health. Absolutely no VC, lads. I was looking at the figure four. Well, as many just looking at the figure four leg lock. Did, oh, no. No, no, John. No! Oh, that is not how John Cena does a Hurricane Rana. That's not even close. I swear, if you try a submission on me already... Jo no, John. No. Don't make me waste my stamina. Okay. There, I was... You know what? I was too busy looking at my stamina. That's it. Just a couple of punches to wail him down. How's his health? Oh, will you go down? No! Oh, and he catches me with his terrible hip toss. Oh, who am I to judge? My hip toss is atrocious as well. Yeah, no selling your kick, John. Arr! Take that, Enziguri. No! Oh, no. No. Oh, John. We're having a bad match, John. We're having a bad match. I can't carry you to a good match, John. Or you can't carry me to a good match. Either way, get these two of... No, or don't. Get no atomic drops in. Oh, and that's a strong... That is a strong reversal. Oh, dear. At least he'll wail on me enough that I can get my payback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just keep... You keep doing that, John, because you know what you're doing? You're wasting time. You're wasting valuable seconds, John. All your opportunities to get me to uh, not counter. Ah, oh, and you squandered them, John. You squandered them. Get that third reversal back, Jay. Here we go. Get John into the yellow health. There we go. Oh, that wasn't enough. That was... What? That's not technically yellow health. Oh, he has a sliver of green health left. And John Cena has the kip up. Oh, dear. John Cena's kicking my ass. I, I don't know. I didn't really expect much less. Come on, John. Oh, what's that? You got a signature? No, you don't. That's it. Get him in it. Oh, the ankle lock! <laughs> yes! The ankle lock and John. No, 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 no. Oh, do not. Do not. Oh, Cena, what a terrible STF. Actually, it's animated pretty well. Oh, here's Triple H. Looks like I had things well in hand. Good man, AJ! Yes! AJ. Oh! AJ taking out Triple H again. AJ, you are my best friend. Here we go. What's going to be now? Get him to red health. I knew it. Damn it, John. Just stay down, John. Um, let me get my comeback in. Could do me little Brock Lesnar shuffle. Oh, I'm ready. You ready, John? Come on. Get this comeback in. Get him up. Get him up. That's it. Very good. I need to hit this. I need to hit this. Excellent. Excellent. The first part in. First part in. What's... What? Circle again. Excellent. Oh, John. Poor John. Get up, John. Kick in your ass. Like I predicted I would. You're not the real Cena! What? Damn right. I'm not... Nope. I am not wasting my finisher. I'm not falling for it like I did with Randy Orton. Get him down to red health. Do it. Do it. Yes! What have I got now? The calf crusher. That's... Okay, that's a weak attempt at it, but I do lock it in. Wait, what? What? I just... This is me and John Cena tap out. Oh my god. John Cena taps out for the first time in his career to 
me. What's this now? Kurt Angle's here. Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Who did you trade me for, though? I want to know who I'm worth. Who did... Who did... Like, who did Daniel Bryan see as equal value to me? Because I'm going to be pissed off now if it's not someone epic. Like, Seth Rollins or something like that. And that's... Jeez, chapter 8 done, lads. We are... T man, look at how long it took me to get my career done last year. Here we are on chapter 8. Finished chapter 8. Starting chapter 9. I believe on 12. So let's see. Buzz was shocked to be traded to Raw. He will miss competing on SmackDown Live, but is excited to face new challenges on Monday nights. God, that guitar. I wonder who that is hinting towards. That damaged guitar, I might add. Oh, God. I wonder what's going to happen to me. Where are we on time, lads? Hmm. Yes. Let's start this first episode of Raw. The next night, Monday Night Raw. Oh. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. How can I get much bigger than last night? I made John Cena tap out. It's I'm, I'm almost mad at how kind of nonchalant they're just like, Oh, BT Dub, you make John Cena tap out. I suppose it was an imposter though, so it doesn't really count. I wonder how Cena feels knowing he tapped out in, in, a, in the My Career this year. The real Cena, I'm referring to, of course. So where are we now? Oh, oh. Hello, Miz. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Miz TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. You look like a Sith Lord, Miz. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. I actually wouldn't have mind if they had recreated some of the moments from his TV in the game's engine. Maybe not 10 minutes long, but... What, no, no ring gear for me? Just a tap-out shirt. This is your debut on Raw, Jay. Do better. Well, it looks like I'm going straight for the IC title now. Cut a promo on Miz. Ah, no. No, no, no. Just gonna wail on him. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Answer me, damn it! But oh, bad idea. Why would... Okay. Well, I knew there was three of them in the ring. Oh, what a great start to my Raw debut. <laughs> That's it. The next week, 
Oh, man. Man, I just got buried. Absolutely buried on Monday Night Raw there. Hey, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. That guitar's huge. We got a new guy here named Buzz who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. Oh, I'm coming for you, Elias. Maybe this is the story they're going with. Maybe even if you went to uh, talk to the Miz or cut a promo on him, you still got beat up by him anyway. And maybe I'm going to get owned by Elias. And this will be the thing. It's like, oh, you were, you know, you were hot stuff on SmackDown, but over here on Raw, this is where the, the big boys play. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. Call out the Miz, challenge Elias. I'm gonna call out the Miz because he did beat me up. Well, other than that atrocity of a song, I don't have a problem with you yet. But I do have a problem with the Miz after what he and his so called Miz Taraj did to me last week. So, Miz, I'm calling you out right now. Wow, and he got here very quickly. First off, Elias, I want to apologize for your beautiful acoustic set being interrupted by this simpleton who obviously doesn't appreciate art or culture. He did it to me last week, too. Second of all, Buzz, I don't care what you do or say. You're not getting a shot at my Intercontinental title. But since it seems like you're dying for a fight, I have another idea. How about you face the Miz Taraj in a handicap match tonight? Done. You know what? Sounds good. In fact, why not add Elias to their team too? Then I can beat all three of them and show the WWE Universe what a fighting champion is supposed to look like. You are dumber than you look. <laughs> you are dumber than you look, fade to black. Oh, Jesus, and we're going... Well, this, this episode's definitely going to end up going into overtime. I was hoping just for a promo and maybe a corridor. I didn't expect this happening. Okay, you know what? I'm probably going to end up heading halfway through chapter 9 in this video as well by the time I get to the end of this match and get to another bloody corridor where we can cool down for a bit. So after I've done this video, in the next video, whenever chapter 9 is finished, I'm just going to end it. Even if the video's like two minutes long, <laughs> it'll be a really weird video called like what's left of chapter 9 or something uh, because I... I have every intention of not making these videos as long as they are, but they just end up being this long. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, we're definitely going to want to skip the entrances at this point because time's of the essence here. Right, lads, what's the deal? Am I actually expected to win against all three of these guys? Because I don't see this happening. I've kind of goofed myself. All right, get him to red health and hit him with a strike in the ring. I can do that. Oh, Elias. Come on, Elias. What you got? Yeah, we go. No, you ain't nothing without your guitar, are you? Get... Oh, no. He he, he countered. I still got... Oh, I have more reversals than him. Um, well, that doesn't matter, because he just need me in the face. 
That's it, that's it, that's it. I'm just cheesing stuff here. Yeah, come on. Oh, and he counters again. Okay, Elias. Going for that running knee strike again? No, nice try. Oh, and Zaguri. All in there. Uh, weight detection or whatever. Whatever it's called. He's not too heavy for me. Just hit him. Just keep hitting him. Oh, but if he tags out, like, this could be problematic. Because getting the tag back in. Come on, hit him. Well, he's... Yep, just move him. If you... If that's what you need to do, that's what you do. You're finished, Elias. Up you get. Up you get. Wake up, Taunt, before he has a chance to try roll away to his corner. Right. Oh, no. Don't knock me down. Don't knock me down. Oh. Oh, dear. I have no... Uh, I have no reversals left. Spin him over. Get a little bit of stamina back. Oh, wake up, Taunt. Wake up, Taunt. That'll... Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. This will work. This will work. If he doesn't counter, he does counter. Oh, dear. If he throws... Oh, wait, yes. Oh, ha -ha! I just... Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> just cheesed him. This is the kind of stuff you expect people on the online multiplayer to do. I just don't like losing. I really don't like losing. Pick before he gets his reversal back. Nice. There we go. We're going to get him to red health in no time at this rate. Okay, he does have a reversal. I'll see if I can... Oh, what was that? What was that? Try... Uh, there we go. Excellent. Nice close line. Oh, he's got his low blow. Paid back. Saved up. Don't let him hit you in the... Oh, just boop. There you go. And get back up. Just knock him down. Spam wake up taunts. You know what? Hey, I'm in a handicap match. I'm allowed to do... Well, okay, I didn't mean to do that there. But I'm allowed to be cheesy with my tactics. It's three on one. And I don't want him tagging out. Here we go. Get the, the two atomic drops in. Excellent. Oh, look how close he is to... And we pick him up. Oh! I think I could, I, I could have swung a super kick. I'll have to experiment with that. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, and then strike him when he's in the ring. Look at that full stamina. Go on, get him. Yes! In that corner. Taking him down. Where are the other two? Oh, it's very Ambrose-esque. Oh, hit the... I hit the referee. There was no sound off that impact, though. That's okay. I suppose it is a ref. Miss slides in the guitar. Oh, now I've got the guitar. Yeah. Oh, no, just the, the sound effects aren't working here. Okay. that That's fine. Totally fine. We'll, we'll let it slide. As I slide into the cover. Come on, Mr. Referee. Count that. That's one, two, and three. Ah! Excellent. I've just defeated the Miztourage and Elias in a three-on-one handicap match. That is how you bounce back. Still, that was a disastrous debut. All right, forget about that. You're, you're a winner. Look, look at you celebrating after your win against all odds. There was three of them against you. The other two were down and out for some unknown reason. And the Miz interjected into the match, sliding the guitar in. Miz with the slide guitar. Oh, that was terrible. Bringing the number up to four anyway. So, wow, that was cool. When I saw the broken guitar, I assumed it was going to be me on the receiving end of it. But no. Okay, the next week. Can I be in a, a corridor, please? I'd like to be in a corridor so I can just save and all that. Yes! Hey, Sasha! Alright, just a wave. She must have been busy while they were recording dialogue. That's it? Congratulations. <laughs> you got to meet Sasha. Okay, so we've cursed. Kirsch, Elias, the, no, I was going to say the B team, the Miz Taraj as they were known back then, and Sasha. And that's it for this video. And actually, there are two things I'm going to ask you. Should I change the trunks of my character to red? I think I'm going to do that. Because I think he'll look better. Red to match the elbow and knee pads. Also, do you think, I think with this, I, I, when I made John Cena tap, it would have been a much shorter video, but I think I should have just ended it now, and then I could have hyped up my debut on Raw, but I suppose you should hit the like button, because I, I tapped out John Cena and made my Raw debut in the one video. Who else does that? No one. You know, because they structure their videos in a manner so the videos end with the end of a chapter, but we can change that. If you want, regardless of how long or short it is, I can just end the next video after chapter 9 so we can kind of get a bit on track because the story's kind of all over the place here without we're progressing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching as always, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out all my other content, playing through Fire Pro Wrestling World's Finding Road and Spider-Man on the PS4. Follow me on Twitter, link to that will be in the description. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Cheers!